Hi, this is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Recent Crafts. Amy Rose Crafts on YouTube. I'm live on Facebook. If you could go ahead and force push me out, I'd appreciate that. And for the YouTubers, go ahead and smash that like or what is it? Share. Oh my God. There's button. another thing we got to edit and post. Let's just get going. Okay. <laughs> Um, why don't you go ahead and bring me down to the board then? Hey, you guys want to see some wreathing? Yeah. Hello, Tracy Lachance. Hello, from hello. Utah. I'll figure out the beginning one of these days. <laughs> nah, she won't. Yeah, I won't. All right. Loosening the armature. You don't need to loosen the armature. Just bring it down. Don't tell me how to direct. Are we down? Because I can't see. I'm always down. Oh, I can't see. Sorry, guys. I can't see if it's... So tell us now if it's good. Hi, Susie Rose. We are going to be doing Suzanne. the Flamingo. Now, this may be a little too close of a camera angle. Don't worry. We will bring it out as you start to lose picture. We're doing the Flamingo. This is an order that I had. And we're going to use a boa. We have some pink mesh. It comes with really cute legs. The Flamingo is from Derica's Designs. Elizabeth Harvey says that we uh, rock her day when we're on. Yay! And C.D. Crady, Crady says, uh, yay feathers. And every time I see feathers like this, I always think of the birdcage. <laughs> oh, oh, bring me my Pirin tablets. <laughs> what are you doing? You're giving her drugs now? Anytime I use this, the feathers, I, I'm finding feathers for days. But um, she had a certain idea in mind. Um, she wanted the uh, hat to go on top with sunglasses. I ordered the wrong size. So I did order the right size and it's just not here yet. So I opened up the box. I'm like, oh no, that's not gonna work. But I already posted that I was gonna do it. And I'll just add it later and post a picture. MC Fresh made a uh, flamingo for her sister. Yay! I love flamingos. Okay, so let me go ahead and then we're going to bling this flamingo out a little bit around the neck portion. It's going to be awesome. So let me go ahead and show you the board itself. This is the Unique in the Creek large flower board. Um, these boards are really cool. If you've never used one, go ahead and try it. Uh, I just putting a set of uh, zip tie in a set of each hole. I didn't drill any extra whatsoever. And I'm gonna show you how it's gonna fill out really fast. Let me go ahead and show you how to actually load a zip tie. These are 18 pound six inch zip ties, 18 pounds, because the head of the actual zip tie will fit in the hole itself. If you need it to be flush with the board, you can go ahead and do it so that way. So all we do is go down one hole and up the other. Now, you'll hear a lot of people say zip tie open or close. This is closed, this is open just so that way you don't get confused. So I'm going to do them closed. And I did it all the way around. Where'd you get the flamingo? I got the flamingo from andericasdesigns.com. I love her stuff. MC Fresh is working on her carrot kit. Woohoo! From Unique in the Creek? Sure. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm asking her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going, I've left a little, some unfinished for you. And so I am just loading them. And then I'm gonna show you, now there's different ways that you can do the actual flamingo. There! You can do, what? Lieutenant Uhura's on. Woohoo! Take now, your station, Lieutenant. You can do the um, sunflower petal if you want it on this. Ooh, cookies on! You could do the rosy posy if you wanted to do on this. <clears throat> um, the picture that I was sent, um, she wanted the curl, and I'll show you how to do that. So that's how you load the board. So it's every set of holes, a zip tie is in. I did not drill any extras on here. I'm not afraid of power tools. I just, I just find a way to work it out. <laughs> okay, so that's what the board is going to look like. With your fold or yeah roll fold whatever 
Um, I have two types of pink. Oh, we have a new person. Everybody welcome, Debbie Epling Walker. Hi, Debbie. And I started cutting them already because these petals, you know, you need to do them in advance or you can do them while you're, while you're making the wreath itself. I have a, like a hot pink and a regular pink. And I'm not sure which one is which now, but I'll go ahead and give you the SKU number. One is R as in Roger, E as in Edward, 800-122. The other is R as in Roger, E as in Edward, 800-111. And Dan is typing that in the comments right now, so that way you'll have them. If you want to use this pink. Where's the other one? Oh, sorry. If you don't want to use this pink and you have another pink in mind, by all means, go ahead and use that pink. But I always have uh, my clothespin or chip clip available when I'm doing some of these folds. I have the little rubber bands from the Dollar Tree that I got a while ago. So I'm going to be using those just so that way it's easy. <clears throat> Okay, we're making a flamingo wreath. I know oh. somebody asked, so oh, good. Well, there it is. Good golly, golly Miss Amale. Dan had coffee, y'all. I had coffee. Hi, Dan. Okay, so this was at the end of my roll, and it's always, always curls up a lot more when you get to the middle of that roll. However, you're gonna cut them at ten inches. This is ten by ten. You're gonna make sure that the roll it flips up. Okay. Hi, Connie. Hi, Connie. Then you can just put something there. You don't have to. And you start curling from, so you have a square. You're going to make it in a, di a diamond shape. And then you're going to start curling. Now, for those of you, those of our Canadian listeners, we're not talking about throwing rocks at it. <laughs> you're going to curl. Okay, so there's the curl. I should have flipped over my, my board to show the blue side. Sorry, guys. And then I'm just going to take it and push it up together. We can still do that real quick. No, that's okay. So here you can either put your chip clip, your clothes pin, whatever. Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you? A Hi. A Hi. I'm going to use the little rubber bands. And I'm just going to secure it like that. That's it. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go all the way around the board. Now, in between the layers, I'm going to put the boa in. So that way it's a little more fun and fresh. Uh, I think the word you're looking for is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, designers. I make it work. I love Tim Gunn. Okay, so once again, you have your mesh. Cut it 10 by 10. Curl up. It's in a square. You're going to go diamond. Put something there to hold it. And then you're going to start curling. Mm. Okay. That was some good shepherd's pie, y'all. And then I'm just going to make it somewhat even. And take my rubber band or your chip clip or whatever and just secure it. Okay. Boink. Now, for those of you who have problems rolling, same thing. Turn to a diamond, take your roll from a mesh that you've used, place it at the corner, just roll it up, and then pull it out, then stretch out the edges a little bit. Blasted allergies. There you go. Same thing. Just make it easier for yourself. No. Okay. Surely I shall be dead soon from these allergies. Yeah, the allergies are bad. It keeps nipping. <laughs> so I'm going to place it here. And just curling. I'm showing you how to do it, guys. So I'm going to do these four, and then I'm going to start placing on the board. <clears throat> and I'll show it again later on in the video. But... If you're watching the replay, you can always rewind, fast forward, all that good stuff. Okay, so that's what we have. All right, just put that there. All right, so it doesn't matter where you start on the board. Honestly, <laughs> choose a spot. Go, ah, uh, bum. 
but you're gonna start in row two. The boards are numbered. The outside is one, two, three, four, five. Hi, Naomi. Hi. So when I'm telling you which row I'm working on, that way you know. Row one, I'm leaving empty, okay? Row two is where I'm gonna start placing my mesh. And I'm putting it about an inch in and then zip tying it down. Where's my zip tie gun? Underneath the feathers. Okay. Now, if you wanna do this while you're going, if you wanna do the roll and then place it in, completely up to you. I just find it's easier if I pre-do the rolls themselves. Now, I know you're thinking, Amy, that's a lot of space right there. I got you. <clears throat> it's gonna be covered, promise. Promise, promise, promise. Uh, CD says that you'll be finished with this before he finishes the tails for his bee wreath. <laughs> CD, you and I need to have a come to Jesus when it comes to crafting and everything. Because I so want to see that heel that you got. I really do. It's a high heel that he got from the store by Travis's. He's my shopping buddy. When he orders a kit, I just meet him there and we go shopping together. So I have a bag that I just placed all my, my folds in, or petals, or whatever you want to call them. I pre-did them so that we'll we could go a little bit. Fabulous feathers. Fabulous feathers. Okay, designers, any chance I can get to talk like Tim Gunn, I'm going to take it. I know, right? He's got a new show with Heidi Klum because there, I heard in the background, he's like, oh, we're back again. That one's a little wonky. If that's the case, just roll it. There you go. <laughs> what? I'm thinking about James Island Bob Strike Back. Oh. Roll it. Just roll it. See how fast this is going, guys? It's just easier when you have them pre-done, and then you can just load them in the board. Like I said, I'll show you the, the roll again. Hi, Angie. <clears throat> this is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it, CD. You take your time. You make it look the way you want it to look. You make it look awesome. You make it look fabulous. I'm so far behind on my computer. So whatever Dan's seeing, I'm seeing later. So you just want to make sure that they're even all the way around. Hey, we got a thumbs up for the Jane Silent Bob reference. Are you sure it was for the Jane Silent Bob that reference? That says right there, Jane Silent Bob reference. Thumbs up. I'm going to move. My jungle love. Miss Flamingo over here. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. I think I want to know ya, know ya. So that way I have a little more space on my, on my table and doesn't get caught. Don't you ever say another unkind word about the time. Me and Silent Bob model our entire lives after... <laughs> Morris Day intro. <laughs> you tell he's had coffee, guys. I'm sorry. Good. Oh, Tim Gunn is Googly. the man. He yes. is, yes. Love him. Are there any questions? I know there's not a lot of questions right now because I'm just putting it through. Yeah, man, give questions, otherwise. <laughs> Lucy Sal finished it. <laughs> what? 15 bucks, little man. Put that stuff uh, uh, in my uh. hand. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, owe me. Oh, my jungle love. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. Think I want to know you, know you. Yeah, what? Who finished it? Hi, Vita. Is this the pedal that one girl did for the... Yes. Uh, it was Lucy Sal. I saw that, um, Dana. And somebody had a question what pedal it was. See, now I gotta, like... I gotta push this up because it's hitting right here. What yes. size is that wreath board? It is a 15.5 inch. Let me... And Cookie wants to know what's for dinner. We don't know. Yeah, it's a 15 and a half. Leftovers. Leftovers. However, this morning, our HEB, that's like a Jewel or a Kroger or whatever in your area, um, restocked. So, we have meat, guys. We were running low on meat. 
Is this the pedal that that one girl did on her sunflower? Yeah, I already answered. Oh, my bad. Yes, I was, Dana. I was Sorry, I didn't. I didn't finish. I was too busy with Morris Day and the time. This is the um, pedal that she used to make it. She just made yellow, and I think she doubled up on the edges to make it really, really full. I'm a smooth. So this can be used for any flower. It doesn't have to be for the flamingo. Um, somebody did, I forgot her name. Um, somebody did do a sunflower with it and it was phenomenal. Liz Alanis? Alanis? This one's all wonky. Uh, from name? San Antonio wants to know, what is that thing? This thing. That thing. <laughs> is a zip tie gun. What it does is it pulls it tight and then when I pull the trigger, It'll pull it tight, and then once it get, reaches that tension, it'll cut it for you. I got it on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Little man, put that stuff in my hand. Stop. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, owe. Okay, so for row three, I am going to double up. All that is, is that I'm going to take my pink, my hot pink, and my pink. I'm going to put two in one, okay? So like I said, I already have a bunch made back here. These are not heat sealed. Hello, Betsy. Hello. So then when I was making them, I just rubber band them together and now I'm just gonna put them in. And zip tie them down. See how full that is? <gasps> I forgot the boa, guys. <gasps> I knew I was gonna, I, Set it over there. I did. You. I know. You. I wanted to get it out of the way. It's fine. Just cut off the zip tie. Put another one in. Which one do you want? The pink and white one. I dropped one on the floor for you. All you do, if you make a mistake, just clip it off and put in another one. Not that big of a deal. This is a... Is test. that a regular mesh cut? And what size? That's a 10 inch cut. This is a 10 inch cut, regular mesh. It's, it says value mesh, but it is thick. It's, it's thick, not flimsy like this one. This one is like, I don't know. You can tell the difference. It's not thick. It's the opposite of thick. What's the word? Mm, Thin. I can't. No, that's, that's something else. I'll know it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay. So oh, where are you getting your mesh right now? Laura wants to know. <laughs> Short I, answer, we're not. <laughs> I'm really not. I got now before no no no. Uh Waterman's Loft, I got the pink. And I think I already had the hot pink. But on Water, Waterman's Loft I got the the uh pale pink um volume mesh, but I can't remember. Vicky Bastion Starcher, who did the yellow sunflower with these petals. Yes. Um, see through, lol. What? Ah, see through. Elizabeth was giving me another word. See through. That was not thin. You remember when you told me how to stop? Seems like the audience is being engaged, so I'm not gonna stop. Can't okay. stop, won't stop. No hair, don't care. I'm trying to see how I'm gonna weave this through. If I wanna do it. We'll call it sheer. What sheer? Oh. <laughs> Instead of thin. So I'm just going to wow. weed them through. Wow. What? <laughs> Anything sheer. Wow. You're going to maybe go ape. That's what you're going to do. I'm just weaving it in and out of my pipe cleaners. <clears throat> or pipe cleaners. My zip ties. So I'm going through inside, then outside. If, can they see that? Yeah. Okay. Sort of. So here, here's my zip tie. I'm gonna go in and I'm just weaving it through. Alonda Ware says, hello, you guys are hilarious. Thank you. Get the fun going. Glad I caught your live from Naperville, Illinois in the Yay. hizzy. Welcome, I'm glad you caught our live too. We do like to have fun, guys. Amy if... keeps telling me to stop, but. <laughs> when he's had too much coffee, he I can don't think be which is much. one cup. Mm -hmm. 
Dan being Dan. Right. Can't stop me. Can't stop Dan. Dan's the man. Amy tries. She's she's gonna be like, I can't post this on YouTube now because he is. <laughs> she grows one horn out of the middle of her forehead. <laughs> Y'all, what movie is that from, guys? Um, I actually stole that from Sam Kinison. No. There is a movie with a monster that has one horn coming out of their There's head. There's tons of movies with monsters that have one. Legend has a monster with one horn coming out of its head. No, it doesn't. The unicorn. Oh. that's not, The unicorn isn't a monster. Yes, it is. How dare you it's a call freak. a unicorn a monster? Freak. It's a 10-ounce cup of coffee, Betsy. <laughs> It seriously looks like she just exploded a canary in here. <laughs> There's feathers everywhere. Okay, so all I did was weave it in and out. <laughs> da, yeah. And Londa says, thanks for the shout out. Actually, she actually typed shot out, and I said shot out, but she said <laughs> shot out. All right, so I'm just going to cut it, because I'm going to do the next layer in this <laughs> center. <laughs> hey, question. How are you going to connect those two ends together? It's going to be zip tied. Okay. Because here's the end. Uh huh. And here's an end. Okay. And the end. There it is. Oh, Tracy Lachance says uh, she gets like that when she drinks too much Pepsi. Oh, man, I want Pepsi. Right? Oh. That's his favorite, guys, is Pepsi. I do like Pepsi. So now I'm just putting, I know you can't see, it's hard to see with the, the Bowie here, but I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just putting in my two petals into the zip tie and bringing it down. Now we see Cookie. In order to get a sneeze, you have to be able to breathe, which we cannot do because of allergies. What? Breathe. Breathe. Yeah. In order to sneeze, you have to breathe. Mm. I think I wanted to do the outside <coughs> too. Oh, did you mess up again? No, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh. Oh, purple people eater. <laughs> it was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. Okay, now I need to find the next one. And I'm just putting it in. And putting it down. Make it fabulous. I am making it fabulous. And so, eat, eating feathers in the... I don't know how cats do it. What? Eat feathers. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to be finding feathers for days, guys. Let me tell you, Amy gets up early this morning, right? Because I went to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Because I'm an idiot and a glutton for punishment. She goes out, discovers that the local grocery store actually has meat and some other necessities. So, she does the shopping. She does the right thing, the responsible thing. What does she forget or deliberately leave out? What? Frosty alcoholic beverages. That's right. She's going to make me no, go No, that part was sealed off. You couldn't go in there. Oh, I'll be danged. Because they use that, they use that aisle as a route for the um, uh, registers. I'll be doggone. Six feet apart, guys. Social distancing. I tell you, there was almost a riot, too. Because this lady was... I, I don't think she meant to try to cut in line. But um, it just so happened. And the person behind me, a couple of people behind me, ma'am, 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 ma'am. So you know what? She may be hard of hearing. And I heard her say, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, just, you know, you didn't have to be mean about it or something like that. Whoa. Well, yeah. And, oh, see, I missed one right here. I can't see. Well, washing machine's going off. Time to transfer. Okay. You do that. And um, the lady was like, "Well, you know, next time you don't have to be so mean about it." You know, I, you know, I didn't know. And the lady is like, "Well, if you follow the sign," and I'm like, "Everybody, just you know, calm down. We're all a little tense. We all want our." Whatever's. No, what happened? Hold on, guys. 
<laughs> I can't see the feathers. Okay, yeah, no, that one. That one should not be there because I am working on row three. So, bless you. So I didn't miss one. Jeez and crackers. I just really need to trust my gut on these things and just find the actual. This one needs to be rotated. My brains fell out. So that was my experience this morning. They had a line out the door. It was pretty awesome. Just guys, be nice to each other. We're all in this the same way. Features or glitter, it's all the same. Margaret Love is on wave. Hi. Oh, I can't find the top of the zip tie. <laughs> she wanted a boa in there, and I want to make sure that the boa doesn't come off. So, <laughs> I'm putting it in with the zip tie. Pring. Oh, now I can't even get my gun in there. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. As I'm pulling. So I should only, so how you make sure that you're going through, I have to put one there, is you just go through. See, I, I have one here, one here. So I have two more. Or you look for the pink feathers sticking through the back. That's true. And where the pink feathers are, that's where you've done it. I have to lift this one and turn it around because it's the wrong way. Cheese and crackers. There we go. It's all riding through the desert on a horse with no name. Feels good to get this out one here? Of the rain. Nope. That's good. Da, 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 da. One more. That's when it's really helpful to look at the back of the board <laughs> doing this. So that way you can make sure. Okay, I did this one. I did that one. I did this one. Can the bleach go in now? Now you don't have to use the boa if you don't want to. You can just use this petal. There. Now let me take this one out and flip it over because this actually needs to go this way. I have them all going one direction. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that after I said it, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have it going what? One direction. You don't know you're beautiful. Oh. I'm just putting it through. Using the feather boa would definitely test your patience. Oh. Absolutely. Good golly, it's doing that now. Cindy Downing Murphy says. But, <laughs> it's whatever the customer wants, the customer is going to get. She wants a feather boa. By golly, I'm gonna make it work. Make it work, designers. Okay, that one's the cut one. I gotta find out. Oh, there it is. That's what makes you beautiful. Is there any questions? <clears throat> nope. Charlene Ball says hi, Amy. Hi. Okay. So let me turn it over because that's going to be the easiest way for you guys to see. I have to put one in here, but all of row three is now down. Now I'm going to row four. Down to clown. I'm going to put one in there. So row four, I'm doing a single. Good googly. I'm doing the single rolls again. This will be a little bit easier. 
famous last words. And here's where I'm going to go ahead and show you the fold or the roll again. Okay, so now, like I said, I'm just going to do singles in here. Charlene says she lives in Trochu, Alberta, Canada, and she ah, wants to know what you're making. I'm making a flamingo. Oh, Jean, you have no idea. What? We've given up on vacuuming in here. <laughs> Cookie says it looks like one's missing. Where? I don't know. Where, Cookie? Maybe that one. They're just there. Yeah, or it's here. One. I don't know. <clears throat> Wait, turn it back over. I think I saw what she was looking at. Uh... So I did row two and row three. And just take your fingernail. And they're all in. These are not. Where did I stop? Right here. <sighs> so I'm just alternating the pinks. But if you want just one pink... That is fine. You could do all just light pink or all just fun hot pink. Completely up to you. There we go. Okay, so let me show you how to make the petal again. Just hold it this time and don't drop it. For those of you just joining, hello. I'm going to show you how to do uh, the curl really quick. I've been getting the look, so I've been quieter. What? Because you've been giving me the nasty look. Has somebody been asking? No. I'm just telling everybody. Oh, why? Because when they came on, they were like, yeah, bring the fun. Let's do this. And Amy's <laughs> all like, shut up, Dan. Shut up, Dan. But she doesn't say it out loud. She says it with her face. And she just did it. She literally just did it. Do it again. You can't say shut up. Oh you my. can't say that on YouTube. You can, absolutely can. So do you that have look. your square. You have your square. It's a 10 by 10 square. It's going to curl up. You're going to make it into a diamond. Just put something there to hold it. And then just curl from the corner to the corner. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Now you can either use a chip clip, you could use um, a clothespin. I'm using the rubber bands. That's what you have. Okay, doing the same thing. <clears throat> Just curling it up. You can hold that. Charlene says, I think. <laughs> you should see the hey, look he's giving you, me now. The, read the comment. Charlene, fine when you do the pedal, it doesn't cover the board very well. It's covering the board. Especially when you put the boa in there. And the way she did the sunflower is she doubled up on every... Um, now, I don't know for sure, but I'm sure she doubled up in every hole where every set of uh, zip ties she put two of these like I have like I'm alternating she put two in each row everyone else in the room can see it hello hello Shana Shana, I got to meet you at Crafters Convention, and it was awesome. See how quiet it is when I don't talk? And? People on YouTube don't like that, and neither do the people on Facebook. They expect when they come here that they're going to get a lot of witty banter and noise and talking and singing and all kinds of fun they're stuff, gonna, but when you're just quiet... Show. But when you're just quiet like that, that the, no, back. this isn't a freaking college lecture hall, all right? It's a Facebook live where we're showing people how to have fun. Now here, you guys know I was just joking, right? 
Oh, she's shaking okay. her head so hard we're right now. Okay, we're doing row four again. Oh my god, she told me to shut the F up. Oh, now she's looking at me dirty again. We're just doing them. See, like here, you can see the board itself. But we have the boa here. And then when I put it in the pink, it's going to cover that up. And you know what? I think I was supposed to put a boa around the outside. We, and I'll show you how to add. When we do that. If you guys notice. You and one tell, more. You can tell how angry she is by how hard she pulls on the zip ties. There we go. Where is that? Oh, that's why. Where, where is that? Okay. So that's what we have. All row of four is done. Now we have <laughs> row of five to do. And the row of five is gonna be doubled. And then I'm gonna put, you guessed it, another bow. <laughs> Some more boa in there. If looks could kill. Uh, actually, that was one of our Facebook um, friends saying if looks could kill. So how about you not give me that face? Mm hmm? We're just weaving it through like we did before. Oh, Georgiana got her zip tie gun. Yay! Have you used it yet? How awesome is it to use? Tell everybody. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm weaving in and out <laughs> the boa. Oh, good golly. MC Fresh says she is so looking us up at CC 2021. Yay! do I may just leave Dan here <laughs> okay all right whoa I think I did that wrong uh -huh. there goes the feathers guys I think I cut that too long Oh, she has not gotten her zip tie gun. Oh, you haven't? When did you order it? It was good to meet you too. Had a great time trying to learn this mesh thing so that. So people what are here you're to learn. Helping with grapevines are my thing. Oh, yes. I did a grapevine yesterday. People can learn and still have fun and enjoy the witty banter and singing. This is not a conversation we should be having on a live, Amy. Well, you shouldn't be doing anything where we have to have a conversation like this on a live. Now he's butthurt, now he's leaving. Wah! <laughs> we did that yesterday, too. He likes the attention, guys. Why do I have so many more? Okay. So in the so in the middle, this is row five. I'm gonna double up again. I'm gonna put it in there. So when we put the head through, you're not gonna see. All you're gonna see is the middle of the fun and the feathers and fur, etc. Oh, now I have to find where I'm going again. Oh, that was my cat. Whatever that was over there, he was did not care about it. So he decided to just knock everything over, as I'm sure every cat does. Sure, this is all fluffy. Did I do that again backwards? 
No. Okay. I say. And I have extras. I don't know how I have extras. But I do. <laughs> if you wanted to put what? <laughs> I know. He just wants attention. That's okay. Now, if you wanted to put the boas in after, I'm going to show you how to do that too. I'm going to put it around row, um, between row two and three. Jeez, that's a lot of, and if you have a little phrase, these are, it's not heat sealed. So, there. So now all you see is the fluffiness of the actual boa in the middle, because that's where we're going to put our head, and then we're going to put our feet down below. So, I've got the feathers over here. So now, oh, I have another one. I forgot about that. I don't know what they did with it. Oh, there it is. They put it over here so I just couldn't see it. I have a light pink. Well, that was two. Bonus. <laughs> I didn't know there was two of them in there. You can tell my fan is on. Because all the feathers are like flying around. Okay, so now if you wanted to add a boa and you forgot and you did it all, all, it, all the way around. Oh, let me show you the middle. It's all. You can't put your finger through it. It's not coming up, so it's all sealed down. So now, in between two and three, let's say, oh, I forgot to put it in. And you're like, darn it, and you want to you wanna put it in. Hi, Barbara Craft. You're just going to lift up some of your mesh. Instead of cutting everything, just lift up. Let me start it off here. There we go. You're just lifting up the row three and just putting it in. And then you can hot glue it if you wanted in there. Doesn't matter. And you could just put it in that way. I'm going to send her a picture to see if the, paste, the placement is where she wants it when I'm done. But I just wanted to show you, go on a live and show you, you know, flamingos are in. It's almost summer, believe it or not. Time for a little bit of barbecues. Social distancing barbecues would be fun. There we go. So it's easy to add if you forget. And I'm going to put another one around. Let me take off this knot over here. And I'm just putting it through back again because flamingos are feathery they have to have some feathers right <laughs> feathers for days okay so see how see how easy that was see how easy so now we have a full looking very full of feathers, boas, 
mesh. Now is the fun part. You gotta find where your top is. And I'll go ahead and glue, hot glue that down. I'm not gonna do it right now. Just gonna put my hanger hole in there. And I always use a zip tie. You can use whatever you want. So I know that that is my top, okay? So that way, when I put the head in, we're good. I wanna go ahead and put a little bit of bling around Miss Flamingo's neck. I don't wanna be have it this thick. That's a lot of bling right there. So, I'm just gonna cut it right in half. This you can get at Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels. I get it from my wholesaler. Yeah, I have Jesus left. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know anymore. I'm just cutting it in half. Once again, the Flamingo came from Derka's Designs. They're fabulous. She's got the peacock. I'll be doing a peacock for sure. Just need to figure out a couple logistical things with the peacock. Hi, Viola. Yes, nice and full. So now all I'm going to do is I'm setting. Can you see that? Yes. I'm just setting it right where the boa is around. I'm gonna nestle it in there. Let me turn it that way. See if you can see it a little bit better. And from the back, where that seam is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue. Not a whole heck of a lot. Just a little strip so that way I don't burn myself. Okay, I'm gonna take the other piece. Now you could use uh, last year I, for, for another order that I had, I did um, a set of like um, uh, kids jewelry, like, uh, the pearls, the kids pearls, the little plastic ones. That was cute on there. So now I'm just doing another bead of glue right there. You can jazz them up. And then this one will have a hat and sunglasses. Once I get the right ones in, because I did, I ordered the wrong size. I ordered this little hat right here. <laughs> That's too small. It has to look like it's actually a part of the flamingo's wardrobe. There we go. Now it's fun. You put the bow around. Just fun and blingy. Whoop. That's all we're doing with that. 